Don't hook me, I'm scared has caused a lot of conspiracy and theories online. With good reason, and with the release of the latest video, it seems like some of these theories are pretty accurate. By now, I'm sure most of you have seen the latest video released on Father's Day, which is a big part of the theory, which I'll explain later in the video. If you haven't seen the latest video in the series, then I suggest you go watch it now, then come back to my theory, or one of the 80 already floating around YouTube. I'll start with what is surely the most obvious thing at this point. The house is a lie, and Roy created all this to scare his son out of wanting to explore reality. Uh, allow me to explain that better. The house looks like something bright and kid-like, something you would see in a show like Pee Wee's Playhouse. The first video was about creativity. The puppets are told by a crazy talking notepad that they should think creatively, but not too creatively. They are taught to make whatever they want, but don't get too advanced there. After that, they are shown about time, and mostly about how basically time is a concept telling us how long until we eventually die. Yellow Puppet learns about love, more so about how he has to be with somebody who looks like him, and as long as they marry and fall in love and is approved by somebody higher than them first. Every video is a creepy lesson. They are taught about a simple thing, but in a way that makes it scary. They are taught in a way that you would associate with extremely strict religious parents who want to make sure their kid never ever questions anything. In the technology video, Red Guy leaves the technology room and ends up on the set. He sees the cameras and sees their playhouse, he sees badly created puppets that look like his friends, and it ends with his head exploding because, well, his mind was literally just blown by the revelation that their home and life is a total lie. The video about nutrition, the phone keeps ringing. At the end, we see the red guy in a phone booth. Obviously, he's the one who has tried to call his friends, but the crazy, possibly cannibalistic puppets in the house refuse to really allow communication with him. In the la latest video, the yellow guy is all alone in the playhouse and obviously scared and sad about his friends being gone. Another one disappeared and another one was eaten. He's realizing that this house is terrifying and could kill him at any second. On the other side, in reality, Red Guy is working a boring office job. He's surrounded by other people that look just like him. By the end of the video, he finds himself in a dark room where a giant machine sits, allowing him to see into their playhouse. Each button and switch causes a different crazy puppet to appear in the playhouse. Roy appears behind him, reaching out towards him. The Red Guy goes over to a giant plug and pulls it. Everything resets after that, back to the very beginning of the series. Except now they are all different colors. It's highly possible that Roy created this place. He created it and made his son think it was really his home, so that his kid wouldn't be exposed to the outside world. When we, the audience, actually get to see the outside world in the series, it isn't all that great. They all seem bored, monotone, they mostly joke about violence and sex, they drink and they smoke. All things that were taught as bad in the other videos of the series. Roy sits in a corner watching Red Guy for whatever reason. This is a world that Roy has lived in. Roy has worked this boring office job that makes you want to scream your head off from boredom. He's tried to do what Red Guy does, sing a dumb song in a bar only to be looked at like he's crazy. Roy ended up having a kid and realizing he does not want his son to be taught by this world. He doesn't want him in an office job. He doesn't want him drinking and smoking. So he finds a set. He builds a huge building where he can create a bright, colorful place for his son to live and grow up in. He even finds friends for his son. This brings me back to Father's Day. It's almost like a hint. Father's Day is the upload date for the newest video. Father's Day is the date on the calendar in the playhouse. And at the end of the video, it finally goes from the 19th to the 20th. As of to say, Father's Day is over. Your father isn't in control now. Roy just wanted a fake world for his son, a place where his kid could grow up learning the correct lessons of life. He wanted to make sure his kid could be creative, but only in a way that he himself approved of. He wants his son to eventually fall in love, but only with the right person, and only if he approves of her. He knows his son will go on the computer, but the computer is to never actually answer what his son searches, and is only meant to distract him away from reality. He wants him to eat things that are healthy and safe. The life lessons in each video mirror the creepy old Christian kid shows you can still find online. Ones with creepy guys dressed in giant bibles and mouse people. 
Roy wants his son safe, even if it costs his son's trust, and especially his safety and his sanity. Now, the ending is odd. The ending can be taken a couple of ways. Everything reset, and now they will forever just relive each of these videos, never remembering they found the truth about any of this. Or, they now live with completely different co- they now with completely different colors can be themselves. They changed. Literally, they changed. Now maybe when they talk to the notepad they can make what they want. They can use the color green and paint clowns if they want to without angry the potentially psychotic notepad. They are under the control of an old man who was angry at the outside world. Yeah, the three of them are still living in the playhouse, but now they can maybe actually learn things and actually be allowed to grow and prepare themselves and each other for the outside world. Maybe that's the point. Before when Red Guy went into the real world, he went out knowing nothing but what Roy taught him and the others in the playhouse. He didn't know anything that helped him in real life situations. Now that's no longer Father's Day, and they have completely different colors, their new colors also being the ones that they stated as their favorite colors, they can learn about themselves, they can learn about reality and how to properly survive in the real adult world.